In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the technology adoption life cycle. Let's go ahead and define that. Here's the definition from Wikipedia. The technology adoption life cycle is a sociological model that describes the adoption or acceptance of a new product or innovation according to the demographic and psychological characteristics of a defined adopter group or groups. We are talking about people here. What's the effect of people's psychology, the way that we behave on the adoption of a technology? And by technology, I want you to think of not just widgets, not just things, but also processes and ways of doing things. So the first group that we're going to look at, remember these are groups of people, is the innovators. These might be also termed the techies. So these are the folks that are always playing with new technology. They're on the bleeding edge. They like technology or new ways of thinking just for technology's sake. Next we have the early adopters. So these are the folks that we might consider the visionaries. They're the ones that can see how this technology could be applied to solve problems to make life better. They may also be people that have a problem that's just so vexing that they're willing to try any new technology to see if they can solve that problem. The next we have the early majority. So this is the pragmatists. These are the people that see a practical application, a way that they can save time, save money, make their business or personal life better. So they're very pragmatic about it. We then have the late majority. These are the more conservative types. They're going to wait and make sure that it really works out for that early majority. They are not going to adopt this technology until they see others that have adopted it and it's worked well for them. Okay, So these are a bit more conservative group. Then we have the last group, which is the laggards. These are the ones that are really skeptical. They really don't want to change their way of doing things. Um, the typewriter works just fine. Thank you very much. I don't need a computer. Um, there are people out there like that that just uh, don't want to adopt that new technology, um, are skeptical of the impact it can really have on their lives. Now, one thing I want to point out here is that these um, innovators and early adopters, uh, these are the folks that uh, like new things, that they have big pain points, uh, they um, have some sort of vision. So this is really the early market for any new technology. And all the rest of the people included underneath this curve here need complete and reliable solutions. So this is the mainstream market. So they do not want to have to tinker with the technology. They don't want to have to assemble it themselves. They want a complete solution that works right out of the box. So there's some big differences here between this early market and this mainstream market. And sometime so that difference is called the chasm because technologies that may do well with innovators and early adopters may fail to catch on in the mainstream. Okay, So there's a whole um, kind of way of thinking about how do we cross this chasm. There's an excellent book called Crossing the Chasm that I'll link to in the notes below. Uh, but you need to realize that it's uh, a difficult uh, thing to do for a lot of companies, a lot of startups, because your initial customers may be very different from your customers that you have in the mainstream. And they may be looking for something totally different than what the uh, mainstream market is looking for. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit about how technology gets adopted, how we as people have an impact on how rapidly technology deploys and also whether it makes it across the chasm or not. In the next video, I'll talk a little bit about some ways that we can cross that chasm, some ways that startups can make sure that their business uh, gets across that chasm. 
And as always, you can also subscribe if you would like to receive other neat videos like this.